Brutaka, one of the best binacle sets ever. Let's talk about why this set rocks and how you could use the pieces that come in this set in your own LEGO creations. And hey, let's also showcase some ways that you could revamp this set as well. Let's go. If you ask a Bionicle fan what their favorite Bionicle set is, a fair amount of them will probably say Brutaka. I mean, he was my favorite for a long time. I mean, what's not to love? The Incredible Mask is so unique and different from any other mask that we've got. Those sinister rounded claw edges at the front are gorgeous. Then he's got a brilliant color scheme of gold and dark blue. It's so enticing and pretty. He's also got an awesome sword design using probably one of the coolest looking weapon pieces to ever come out of Bionicle. And to top it all off, he's imposing. He demands your attention and he's so sleek, but also so brutish and intimidating. The dude has it all, but he also has some phenomenal building techniques. The way the torso is designed is so well crafted and so compact and gap free. You know, the energy of these Borok eye spikes. It's so noble and menacing at the same time. And the torso also packs a cool hidden feature. The awesome back design actually pops out to reveal some additional weaponry. I believe that these are canonically not supposed to be an additional set of limbs and instead are like mechanical additions that hold extra daggers. It's a really fun feature and the fact that it packs away so nicely and not only creates a really nice looking back design but also beautifully rounds off the sides of the torso and helps make it look even more nice and compact. Mate, that's just something special. And this foot design as well, it's genius. Using a gold paraka foot piece and then adding an additional claw in the center, man, it looks so good. Every inch of this toy is perfection. And the pieces that come in this set, they're also incredibly helpful for mock building. So what do you get? Well, you get Brutaka's brilliant mask. And if you wanted to use it in a mock, you could do something like Matt Goldberg has done here. Using it for shoulder armor on a larger Titan-sized build, it looks great. And you partner it with all sorts of other gold additions, it fits right at home. The shape of this mask, it just works perfectly for shoulder armor. You also get these unique gold armor pieces in this set. You get three of them in total. And Joxon has used a couple of them here for this very elegant looking foot design. When you partner it with a few other pieces, it looks simply stunning. You also get lots of gold tubing in this set. And actually, you get a lot of gold pieces in this set. I mean, here they are all together. It's honestly a brilliant parts pack purely for gold pieces. But these tubes, if you want to use them in a mock, you could do something like Matt Goldberg has done on his mock, The Golden. See how he's integrated those tubes into the upper arm as a way of filling in the gaps and helping bridge the arm into the torso design. That's just so smart and it looks so good. Brutaka's silver blades could be used on a mock like this. Brutaka's attack helicopter by Quagamoth. I mean, yeah, they work great as helicopter rotors. And also turning Brutaka's mask and some of the other pieces that he comes with, combining with some other parts too, to make a helicopter? Well, it worked way better than I thought it would. This is a very silly and wacky idea, but honestly, it's kind of genius. You also get heaps of black axles in this set. Now, if you bought the recent Dune Ornithopter set, you'll notice that there's a bunch of red axles and they really stand out against the darker colors of this set. So if you want to use these black axles and replace those red axles, you're not going to get that annoying pop of red and suddenly you're going to get a really sleek and nice looking version of the set. It's a really subtle change, but I've seen it in person. It drastically improves this model. It's cool how something so simple and small actually improves that Lego set tenfold. Now, Brutaka also comes with some of these teardrop lift arms. Mitch Henry uses these in a lot of his mocks. He's got one here that uses them for a leg design. You can see that this piece allows you to insert axles in four different areas, which is unique to this style of lift arm. And as a result, you can play with, you know, interesting offsets. It's a really funky piece. Or perhaps you want to use them like Mitch did on this mock here, repeating that piece on the leg design as well as on the arm design. It makes for such a unique, smooth, interesting texture. How good does that look? It's what a helpful piece. It's great that you get six of them in this set. Additionally, you get four of these blue socket pieces. Patrick Biggs uses them in his Kopaka mock here. Now, if you look at the top of the upper leg design, you can see some of them in black are poking out the top there. Now, because this piece directly connects to an axle, it's perfect for crafting limb designs. It allows you to easily connect CCBS armor on the sides or other interesting details and greebles on the sides. It's honestly a brilliant piece. And finally, you get 14 gold Borok eyes. You could use them for an awesome spike design, much like Mitch Builds has done here on his Rakshi mock. We can see some of them being used in silver on these spikes, and they actually bridge up into some of these larger spikes too. So yeah, getting 14 of these in gold, you're one step closer to making some sort of cool, sinister, spiky back design. That's awesome. So okay, that's how you can use some of the pieces that come in this set. But what kinds of ways could you revamp this character, reimagine it in a new light? Well, Forge of Ataka has this awesome Brutaka revamp that's almost 
almost like a mutated version of the character. The introduction of some translucent colours is a surprisingly awesome addition to the character, and the energy of their shoulder design with all those cool spikes or lightning shooting out of it, that's sick. It's cool to see something a little bit unexpected like this mutated vibe. It's weirdly the perfect thing for this character. Maybe if you wanted to revamp Brutaka, you could do something similar to this, some kind of wacky idea that maybe doesn't fit the character, but when you give it a try, you realize, hey, it's awesome. A builder known as the Carnus Dragon has this fun series of builds that reimagines Brutaka in some pretty awesome ways. The first version just adds some additional armor to Brutaka and some other subtle details. You know, like these cool ornate CCBS gold armor pieces on the legs and the arms, and then a few nice system pieces on the torso. It's little details like this that honestly really elevate this build. I mean, it was already awesome, but subtle stuff like this makes it even cooler. Plus some of these sick shots of him using his weapon, that looks incredible. I love the choice here to make these back weapons actually be weapons that he stows on his back. Yeah, the additional limbs are cool, but there's something really nice about this. I like this one too. Now we have Pit Brutaka, and this introduces some Carapa armor pieces onto Brutaka, and it looks sick. This heavily armored, spiky look that's also been introduced. We see it on the back, we see it pretty much all over the body. It's brilliant. Oh, and then a cool breath mask for his face. What an incredible upgrade. And finally, we have another mutated form. This one uses Carapa armor pieces in gold. Now, unfortunately, these pieces don't actually exist in the real world, but they do when you're building a digital mock. And with how good they look here, hey, maybe next time you build a Barnacle mock, you could play around with, you know, Stud IO, Studio, LEGO Digital Designer, whatever. Digital building's just as fun as regular building. And you can get some incredible results like this. And finally, this one's a bit more of a funny take on Brutaka. It's General Brutaka. You're turning him into General Grievous? It's kind of the perfect addition. I mean, Alex Mertens, who built this, he said it himself. LEGO was totally thinking of this when they built Brutaka. The parallels just make sense. And yet, Brutaka with lightsabers? It works way better than I thought it would. It's honestly one of the coolest things ever. Plus the changes to the foot design here, I love this. It feels like the perfect blend of Brutaka and General Grievous merged together. And you could say the same for the rest of this mark. This is just amazing. So yeah, man, that's Brutaka. What a good set. And hey, do me a favor and check out the description below to see more of the work of the builders that I showcased in this video. You're for sure going to enjoy seeing more of their work. So check out those links below. But yeah, go out there and build a Brutaka mock for yourself, or maybe you can go pick him up on bricklink.com and get a mint sealed in box version of the character or a used version, because he's just that awesome. He's unfortunately a little bit pricey these days, but he's well worth it. It's one of the best Bionicle sets ever. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy building, and bye for now.